folks, come on over. We're loaded up to show you some new from several entities right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, thanks for coming by. Hey, we're going to have fun. We're going to look at some new things. And they are from just about every avenue that I can think of that we would collect or shop at right here. Now, first of all, we got a couple of cute subscriber cards, and I just want to acknowledge them. This is a Valentine's Day card, homemade, wishing you the best, and hugs from Kimmy6767. Didn't want that to go unnoticed, and wanted to get it in. Thanks, Kimmy. Really sweet and beautiful work on this card. This will stay with our box of cards from people forever. Really like that. And then we got one, one Easter card from all our 21,000 fans. <laughs> so this is special too. Happy Easter from across the miles. Dear Jeff and Angela, and it goes on with the sweetest card, and this is from Joanne and Phyllis Lacassi. Honestly, real sweet. Love the little note in there. We'll keep it private, of course. And I wanted to acknowledge the card and thank you girls for that one. All righty. Let's get into the meat of the collectibles and the goodies. Can you even believe some mystery fan? <laughs> this is... You're going to say, well, that looks like the last one. This is totally different. Queen's Fine Bone China Made in England. And this is Racina China Company Limited. Look at the wonderful eastery spring pattern on this. High helix handle, 22 karat gold trim, and the sweetest dainty little cup in a unique shape on a pedestal. Look at that beauty, guys. Really loved it. And you see the light through the porcelain again. We'll lose it once we put the cup on, but that way you can see them. And can you believe it? Another wonderful super fan. We really, really appreciate it. This has just made a whole new spring collection of teacups and saucers now for us. You know, we we got one and we bought a teapot, then another and another and somebody sent a teapot and before you know it you got an incredible amazing collection that you can share and show people. And that's what we love to do. This cup and saucer, I don't even have to look, I remember now. This is by Duchess of England and it is fabulous. Just like the pansies behind me, that's the same company. A real favorite. And you can't be shy when you buy these because they want a chunk. <laughs> they are superb. Love this mystery friend. Thank you very much from Angela and I. We went to, let's see, we... I went to an estate sale, and that is quite a story, and there's quite a bit to it. I'm going to split that up for different reasons, but here is a wonderful little EAPG basket. And what's funny is we had one, and we let it go in our store, and it sold quick, too. This beautiful cut crystal glass basket with no flaws or anything wrong is going to go in our store too. So if you're looking you might find that little beauty and it is cute. Next I was over the moon with this. Never saw one. I'm having a hard time figuring out if this is going in the store or not but I think if it's up to Angela it's going to go in the store. <laughs> 
This is beautiful. It is a heavy, very dense, high lead crystal cut in with the bird and the feather on both sides. This is the sweetest size too now. This isn't a big, you know, this is more like a milk pitcher, a breakfast pitcher, could be juice, okay? Those are always smaller. The lemonade and the iced tea pitchers are bigger. This is that scale. Although if there's only two of you, you know, you could have iced tea. But typically this is a juice pitcher or even a milk pitcher and even those are smaller. This is special. Like I say, extra heavy, thick, and look at it on there. Do I have to tell you? Now back to another wonderful super fan. This glorious chalice or vase, goblet vase, I call it, in the incredible ruby red. This is guessing probably 70s and I haven't officially looked it up for the maker or anything and I'm not worried about it because it was a gift and it's not going anywhere. It's not going down the road in the beautiful ruby red. So we want to thank you, mystery fan. No name, no card, just sent from a dealer, you know. Now this was a real surprise. You're gonna say, you showed us that, Jeff. <laughs> no, I showed you the one I thrifted and found. Some cutie stinker out there <laughs> sent us another one. And I'm over the moon about it because you, they know I love pears. I talk about it. I love a pair of something. This size is fantastic for the fireplace. You know, the big table. It is a glorious West Virginia piece. You can tell it's hand blown by the bottom in the crackle glass and emerald. Okay, no mistake in there. And what's comical is Inside, it has a little cup glued in for a candle. So, the, the other one did too. <laughs> they're, they're right on the same. And I thank you so much, whoever sent this. Again, no name. Red and green is not just for Christmas, but they sure do get you thinking about it in the traditional Christmas colors. Next, what do we got? We got an eBay find, I think, to beat the band. And on my mission of looking to complete tables and pick up things that I might be missing to pull off a birthday table, this little beauty I was pretty happy with. Had to pay up a little bit, but I did find some amber glass dinner plates. Look at these guys. Have you ever? Now I know somebody's seen them. I personally have never seen them. Now there was a few more on eBay. They're not even funny what they want. But I did squeeze a deal. They're in an EAPG pressed glass in amber and they're just wonderful. I was supposed to look these up but you can see that same pattern like I have in the clear. It's easily looked up. I just don't have it with me sitting here today. Gorgeous. What month are these for? Well, they would be for November because November's birthstone, at least one of them, you know, they always want to add to them and add flowers. But 
their first original birthstone is citrine and it's exactly like this and it is gorgeous now you know what else i can use for that table and man i'm telling you it's going to be different isn't that unique that this color right out of fall is for november's birthday baby we'll get these around and get one on there okay Got to move stuff. Got to move it down. Got a lot of plates today. Just an amazing haul and all, like I say, all different directions. I did two new stores, vintage shops, which by now you would have seen at least the one, Robin's Nest. And a new one that's coming out and eBay and an estate sale and then our subscriber gifts feathered in as well look at this beautiful thing and it's got two initials stamped in a reticulated plate this will be noted at at the time it goes in our store this is a chance for anybody that doesn't have a reticulated plate to pick one up and it'll be real reasonable in our store. Just love that. Can you see the porcelain proof here with the light through it? Alrighty. Next, another store piece that I found at the estate sale. This is a wonderful commemorative Hydrangeas and Lace by the Franklin Mint Heirloom Recommendations by Royal Dalton. Okay. Gold trim and gold encrusted rim. An incredible array and bouquet of hydrangea. This will be in the store. So if you're a hydrangea lover, you can find that very soon. In fact, when I'm done with it, see the light through? The fine porcelain. This weekend, working on loading the store back up. It's been a while because we've been so busy. Out at Daytona Flea, got to go revisit that because I separated the things in groups. This is one of the buddies out there. I don't have him on film for you, but he's always there, I mentioned. And I always check them out because he always has good deals. Look at this beauty from Austria. It's a serving plate or platter. It's a big size. It's like 13 inch. Okay. It's superb. And I get the biggest kick out of the depictions that they used at the time. I'm nuts about this, and you know with our stuff, this can't go in the store. It's got to stay home. Also, you characters out there with your shoe in your hand waiting to throw it at the TV, don't do it. Put it down before I tell you. I'm not going to share the price if you're going to do that. Because you're going to blame me for knocking over the bird cage, the aquarium, or the TV set <laughs> when you hear the prices, okay? Unbelievable. I'll show the back stamp in the close up. Clearly made in Austria. This is probably 50s, maybe 40s. And. This was available for $8. <laughs> Where are you going to go, guys? Uh, you got to be there. Get off the couch, okay? Get out to your local flea and vintage shop. That's where you're going to find beautiful buys like that. Next, 
like that wasn't enough. You guys have heard me talk about the Fenton Brothers all the time. Now, Fenton Brother One, who has the more untidy tent of glass, <laughs> he is a good guy, he is a riot. I found this out there and I spotted it a mile away and I had to dig it out of a pile. There is nothing wrong with it. He makes you nervous, but you know, stacking his stuff, you're gonna go crazy, I think, like I did. This is by Duncan Miller. And we have the platter the same size in the sawtooth edge. EAPG pressed glass again, probably the 40s, okay, from the 40s. This one is a divided plate. And I was happy to pay him $20, try to find one. It's all I can do to hang on to it with one hand. They are beefy, they did not cheat back then. You hear me say it all the time. But this matches our plain platter without the division exactly. Angelo will probably pull it up by Duncan Miller. He didn't even know the maker, but I don't care because he had it for me to get. And that was something for Angela, something special, because, you know, it's pink. <laughs> she loves that. So I want to show her how much I care for her collection as well as my own. This is the sweetest little miniature vase and it was on eBay and nobody looked at it and nobody cared and I mean it was on there I saw this on there for months and I thought well it's really little and it's insignificant and then I kept seeing it and I just said you know what you know that goes with our Austrian vase collection I said who the heck else is supposed to have it you wouldn't even believe what I got this for. It's embarrassing. I'm not, I'm not quoting it. It's so reasonable. With the shipping, it was less than a Big Mac fry and a Coke. Look how gorgeous and nothing wrong with it. Proper maker stamp on the bottom too. Love this for our collection. It is our new smallest vase there is a little creamer that goes with their collection as well. But for a vase, this is the smallest one now. Love that. Right? It's different, unique. We didn't have one. You wouldn't even know they made one that little unless you picked it up and put it with your other things. So love, love that. I guess I'm behind on the twirly gig here. So... <laughs> I do have two more things for you that are really worth showing. Because I shop, and you, you folks that have been here, you hear me talk about the minimum of dinner plates that I can use is five. Because I have the five-seater table, and I can do a small table for you and show that. And we can do a birthday table and we can do a Christmas table and all kinds of and it's less expensive obviously than the 12 seater unless I'm mixing plates and you can only get away with that in a certain time you know and not all the time let me show you what I come across here now how I've always talked I'll punch in, I want six plates. Why? In case something happens and one gets broke. Right? What am I going to do with four? I could take a chair away and pretend I don't have it. But when someone asked once, why five? To have that, <laughs> that's how many people in our immediate family, you know, even though they're doing other things. 
Okay. When everyone's home, it's the small table and the big table. Okay. So here is this incredible <laughs> made in Bavaria by Schumann. Just incredible. The detail, the gold rim and the intricate gold work over the maroon background and a, just a lovely bouquet and it's kind of a summery bouquet I would say. There's dogwood, there's roses, there's bachelor button that I see right away. There's forget-me-nots. Oh, wow. Violets and a peony. Look at that. Wonderful. Spring, early summer bouquet on these plates. Six of them. Don't get mad, guys. I found them first, and they were a heck of a buy. Oh, I can't even tell you. Glorious, reasonable buy on those. Now, I could mix these with something we have on the big table. Every other plate, that's what I mean by mix. If you had 10 and you could do the two ends different, you know, it's not real detrimental to the table, but I'm nuts about them. Angela too, and I'm telling you what a deal. What a buy there. Now, my last piece cracks me up. This is from an estate sale. I call it a boat-shaped condiment holder. It could be tea bags, it could be toothpicks too. It's a five-segment arched EAPG holder, again from the estate sale. And when I went to pay, the girl taking the money and wrapping things, she says, if you don't mind, she says, what is that? I said, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's really good. <laughs> so if anybody knows out there, I know somebody does. Somebody out there on our channel knows what this is, but I just thought it was so good. The pockets are not tall. You can see. You couldn't put much in there, but you could put maybe different tea bags. I just... Honestly, except a condiment holder, I have no idea what this is. Help! Let me know in the comments. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a buddy over. Call your sister, your girlfriend, your mother, your mom, your brother. Did I say mother? Mom. <laughs> Be good, guys. And... Tell them how much fun we have right here. Till the next amazing, over the top, collector and decorator video. Where are you gonna go, guys, for beautiful? Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Thanks a lot, check out them stores, and thank everybody that sent something to help let us put a show together to share. Bye guys, see you soon.